Continue our journey through the morning service, Kriyat Shema Uvir Chotaha, the recitation of Shema and its blessings. The last few days we have focused on the first of those blessings, Yotzer Or, which offers our thanks for the experience of the divine and the ongoing work of creation. <clears throat> the sacred is manifest in the natural world. This morning we move to the second blessing, Ahava Rabbah, a great love. The emphasis here is on the experience of the divine, of the holy, that we gain through learning, on the experience of living Torah as a gift, of Torah as a kind of ketubah, a marriage document, the sacred record of the great and abiding love that the Holy One bestows upon us. And this morning I want to look at the second line of the prayer. Ba'avur avotenu ve'imotenu shabadchu v'cha batlandem chukei chayim ken techanenu utlandenu. On account of our ancestors, whose trust led you to teach them the laws of life. Be gracious to us and teach us as well. It's on page 62 of Mishkan Tefillah. So a few thoughts and questions for reflection on this passage. First, Ba'avor Abotenu V'imotenu, on account of our ancestors. This plugs into an old and established rabbinic notion known as Zechut Avot, the merit of our ancestors. The tradition often says that when we can't rely on our, on our own merit, when we are in a difficult place, uh, we can raise up to God uh, a plea uh, asking the Holy One to remember the merit of our ancestors. We hear this very strongly in the liturgy. During the days of awe, we ask God, uh, remember uh, Abraham and Isaac and how each was willing to give everything for you. And so uh, have mercy on us and, and judge us favorably. Uh, I've always struggled with this, with this notion of zechut uh, abot, of us cashing in on uh, the merit of, of ancestors. People have sometimes asked me about this on a, on a personal level, being a descendant of, of many, many generations of rabbis. Uh, and my own feeling has always been, you know, ju judge me on my own merits and, and my own failings. And yet it is deeply rooted in our tradition. So we might reflect on, on this, on, on the nature of, of the work of our, of our ancestors, the merit of our ancestors, or sometimes the lack of merit of our ancestors. Uh, why should something over which we have no control uh, bring divine favor or disfavor? But wherever wherever you are vis-a-vis -vis ancestors, uh, it's helpful to reflect on what have you learned from them, positive and negative. How do the actions of your ancestors 
affect you, and, and surely they do, for good and for bad, whatever you think of Zechut Avot. Um, it is just the fact that the choices of our ancestors continue to have a great deal of influence in our lives. And the more aware of that we are, the more we can do to, to change, to mitigate, or to benefit from those actions. Um, continuing in, in the line, uh, you taught us Chukei uh, Chaim, the laws of life. I like this. This phrase, we have all these laws, mitzvot, given on Mount Sinai. But chukei chayim, the laws of life, seems something different. For me, this feels like a kind of hard-earned wisdom gained through experience. So as we give thanks in this prayer, Ahava Rabbah, you might reflect on some times you've learned significant laws of life. Um... Uh, some things you just have to learn by experiencing them. And how did these lessons, the lessons you've learned from your ancestors, the lessons you've learned from your own experiences, help and hinder your efforts to be in sacred, loving relationships with God, with a romantic partner, with friends, or with other dear ones? Something to reflect upon uh, as we chant uh, and then have some silent meditation time uh, with the words from the Sidor. Batelandem chuke chaim, kein te chanenu, kein te chanenu, utlam denu. On account of our ancestors, whose trust led you to teach them the laws of life, the laws of life. Be gracious to us and teach us. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Fire. Omer count to take us out this morning. Uh, we focus in this week of Tiferet, of balance, of beauty, of compassion, on Yesod, Shabbat Tiferet, on the foundation of that uh, balance and, and, and beauty. From Rabbi Kerry Olitsky. Even though it is weeks away, our anticipation of revelation, of Shavuot, of receiving the Torah, 
is heightened by our growing relationship with the divine. We feel the pull of the covenant, especially today on Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. As we come to know the Holy One, we come to know ourselves better. May we hear the voice of the Holy One beckoning us to return to our foundation, to the fundamental presence in our lives. Hayom Esrim Yom Shehem Shnei Shavuot B'Shishai Yamim La'Omer. Today is the 20th day of the Omer, two weeks and six days.